on today's episode of Select Club, The Ohio Cemetery. Let's check it out. On today's episode, like I told you before, we're going to be checking out the Ohio Cemetery. It's in a small town, Burlington Junction, Missouri. Uh, here in just a few minutes, we're there. We're kind of going through the road to get there. And uh, let's I'll give you a look at it. Anyway, the cemetery is very old. There's uh, stones in here that are marked, I think, as early as 1823, maybe earlier. But we're going to have a quick look at that, and we're going to uh, just have an overview of this very... It's an actual very beautiful cemetery, and it's uh, kind of close to my heart. So, here we go. And anyway, we're here at the beautiful Ohio Cemetery, and uh, the first place I wanted to stop was right here at some of the oldest stones in here, and I want to kind of point out that some years ago, and it's happened two or three times since, that some people have come in and like kicked them over and destroyed them, and that's, that in my opinion is terrible when some of these stones, you know, predate their grandparents. Uh, let's see if we can find a good example. Right here we're into some of the old ones. Here is a good example. Infant. It looks like possibly 18, maybe 1819. Um, and just some of the old stones that are here. And mind you, this is northwestern Missouri. This is a small town. I don't think there's much more than 500 people here. But just, just look at some of these old stones. They're just absolutely gorgeous. 1873. And it's always kind of sad to see stuff like this, but there's a lot of infant stones out here. You know, and right there is looks like 1874, passed at the age of nine months. You can get a look at that. I mean, just some beautiful stones here. Um, let's see here. Oh, here's one that's been vandalized. We'll go over here and look at this. I mean, what was the sense of that? <clears throat> Eight years, six months, and nine days, and somebody had to kick that over. It's just ridiculous. 1860 to 1884. Um, and kind of a pan shot here. And the trees in the cemetery are just absolutely gorgeous. This stone here is somewhat of a local legend, at least it was for... Me and my friends growing up in this town was the witching stone. Now it's got um, got some weird text on it that's kind of difficult to read, and actually the camera is picking it up better than the eye can on the stone. I didn't know that. I mean that's that's awesome. Of course I've never tried to video it, but uh, we'll have a look see and see what it uh, says. The inscription on the stone reads, If there be no meeting past the grave, If all is darkness, silent, yet tis rest, Be not afraid, ye waiting ones that weep, For nature gives all her children sleep, And if an endless sleep she wills, tis best. Neat, huh? As a child, I spent a little time, me and my friends, we'd come up here and hang out, and uh has just always felt safe here you know some people kind of put that stigma on a cemetery as as a place that's not really i don't know maybe it's hollywood they, they make you want to be afraid of it but here i have a lot of family in this ground on this little knoll here and to this this place seems like a little just a piece of home, like, I'm not afraid here. I wouldn't be afraid to be here on any given night either. And it's just absolutely a beautiful cemetery. And, you know, like I said, it's kind of a, maybe an odd topic to talk about. But still, I can't help it. 
This place is beautiful. Some place, maybe I'll rest my bones. Oh my God, 4th of July. Somebody had, a, had some fun there. Well, this will conclude our little tour of the cemetery. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, episode of Select Club. And if you like it, share it. If you share it, subscribe maybe. Comment below. And anyway, have a happy and 4th of July. And be cool, man. Later. I won't always buttfuck your mother, but when I do, I'm shit wasted on rich and rare.